Reggie Jackson was not moved uh, before the trade deadline, as everybody must know. A lot of people were crossing their fingers, hoping that Reggie Jackson was gone, but he's still here. And I'm going to explain why uh, Reggie Jackson didn't move in a moment. But it's Motor City Sports Talk. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. And a public service announcement. Hopefully, I can go live and talk about the Pistons and the moves they made tonight. If I'm not feeling better, it'll be tomorrow, sometime in the afternoon or in the morning or something like that. But I appreciate everybody for checking on and rocking out with us, man. Keep sharing the videos, sharing the channel with your boys and your friends on social media. We up in here, man. But, you know, I'm not really worried about Reggie Jackson still being here. I'm kind of happy he is still here because next year he got a very attractive contract, almost $20 million. So, worst case scenario, $20 million come off the uh, the cap. But another great scenario is that before next year's trading deadline, he's going to have a very attractive contract. So, with players that, you know, people may not like or or they might, you know, it might not work out like something like a Blake Griffin, you got $20 million to play with. You got like a $20 million ex trade exception, all right? And, and teams are going to want that because they give you $20 million in cap relief. Right now, Reggie Jackson had a half a season more than one more season to go. So, you know, at the end of the day, that contract is going to be very attractive next year, I'm trying to tell you. So, there's no need to trip. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not tripping about it. The one guy they wanted to move for it, and I'll speak on Mike Conley in a minute. The one guy they wanted to move for him, they, he didn't move. So, it's not the end of the world. You can revisit that trade in the offseason. So, let's see what he got. Reggie's been playing well of late. But the whole thing about it is the – the Pistons got a gold mine. They still retain their first round pick, and they got a pretty much a twenty million dollar trade exception. You know what I'm saying? So, you know that's twenty million to play with. So somebody might not work out next year. I don't know who it could be. You know, you could trade Reggie Jackson for him, and they get twenty million dollars in cap relief. So I mean that's as that's as good as it's gonna get. You know that's as good as it can get. You got twenty million dollars floating around, and if he don't. You know, you know, paying out. You don't move them next year. You got twenty million dollars coming off the cap. Only, only two contracts you got tied up in is Andre Drummond and Blake Griffin. So you gonna bring in another somebody next year? Maybe a star. You know, maybe you know, this that type of guy. I can't really give you a guy. You know, but you got you got a golden ticket. You know what the Pistons have is the equivalent of a first round draft pick. Damn near a lottery pick. You got $20 million free to deal how you want to deal. So, you know, do you want, you know, I don't, you know, don't know the players that's going to be available next, you know, next offseason. But, you know, maybe some some guy not working. Maybe a mirror titch don't work out in Milwaukee and you need shooting and, and somebody to stretch the floor. You know, maybe a Tim Hardaway Jr., you know, not working out in Dallas or he looking good in Dallas. They need to move him because they got somebody else they like. You know, maybe you want to go get Lonzo Ball. You know what I'm saying? And you take, I mean, you know, in the offseason, you take on Lonzo Ball contract, and they probably got some type of high contract on their bench, you know, that they don't like. You know, you go move and get Lonzo, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it works out. It's going to work out for the Pistons regardless, man. It's going to work out because that's a valuable thing. That's like a first-round draft pick, I'm telling you. Teams value that cap money. And it, and it depends on what the free agent class is going to look like a year from now. And if the free agent class is pretty decent – Somebody going to want Reggie Jackson for that contract. So, you know, a lot of people crossing their fingers. But I told people I wouldn't expect Reggie Jackson to move. I wouldn't expect homeboy to move because next year his contract going to be golden. You know, and it would be interesting to see if Reggie Jackson stick around in the league after that. I think he will. You know, he won't nearly get no $20 million from nobody. But I think he's going to be sticking around in the league. I mean, other dudes didn't move neither. Nobody talking about J.R. Smith didn't move. You know, he got to be one to be near in the buyout. You know, and he not even, they plan to stay home. Carmelo Anthony is still out there. So you got the waiver, you know, the waiver wire that's going on right now. Now, I wouldn't expect the Pistons to, to cut or do no Josh Smith shit with, uh, with uh, Reggie Jackson. That contract too valuable. But that's why he didn't move. If it wasn't for Conley, it was no other deal that the Pistons wanted. So next year, the Pistons can bring on another big star next year with a Reggie Jackson contract. They probably could reach for the stars next year. You know, they probably really could. You know, um, you know, if they can find a way to move some of these other dudes, man, like Drummond, you never know what can happen. Cause Nikola Mir I mean Nikola Vujovic is a good player. And Orlando was gonna move him today or by the day, but the uh Mo Bang bug uh, guy got injured. 
So he out with a stress fracture in his foot or something like that. So so that's why then Reggie didn't really move. Next year, you know, by the trade deadline, if he ain't going this offseason, that's gonna that's gonna be the ticket. That's gonna have to how either the Pistons gonna look at it this season. I explain the stream when I'm able to do it. The Pistons gonna look at it this way. Like, if we make a hell of a run this year, then we're gonna continue to build on a rebuild. We're gonna continue to build on the fly. But if we go down south, we don't make the playoffs, then you're gonna see they're going to get that contract off of an asset rather than another player to put with Drummond and Blake. Don't be surprised if Dre, Dre ain't moved. And don't be surprised if Blake Griffin don't ask for a trade request. But I'm going to get to the Mike Conley situation. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I'm in the process of rebuilding those platforms up. But blessings to, to uh, your family.